Okay. So today um, I'm going through this question that was asked by a client. So this client wanted to know if uh, he's supposed to call up an electrician every time uh, every time he has some electrical gadgets off in his house. So I told him, no, you don't need to call up an electrician every time, let's say your fan or your ceiling lights or your bedside lights or let's say your corner light is off. You don't, you don't need to call up an electrician every time you see these things. The first thing you have to check is, is your distribution board or hot in other countries they call it consumer units and some people also call it fuse box or breakers okay so so when you open this up you come and check this so you can see we have on and off. So when it's on, that means your circuit. These are the uh, these are the breakers, or we call them. Uh, this type is called manitial circuit breakers, or in short form, we call them MCB. So this this is the type that we are we are we are doing today. Another time, I will do. Uh, a video on another type of uh, distribution board or fuse box or uh, consumer unit. So you can see this is off. That means that circuit that is being controlled by this MCB or breaker will be off. When it's on, current will pass through this breaker to that very circuit. Okay. So when you open it up and let's say your lighting system, your lights and your fan are on this circuit and they are off, that means your light and fans are not working. So you have to turn it on again. So when you turn it on and it doesn't trip back or doesn't go off again, congratulations, that means it was just some kind of pressure or maybe some kind of uh, uh, overload or something like that. So it needs to go off by itself to protect uh, the electrical system from uh, fire or anything like that. Uh -huh. So, but when you turn it on and within a minute, it's goes back off that means there is a problem on that very circuit and you need to uh, get an electrician as soon as possible to come and check it for you so these are one of the things and another thing is in the electrical world in especially in electricity production or in the distribution of electricity, we have what we call uh, three-phase. So on the three-phase system, sometimes, as you know, some houses are connected to uh, phase one or life one. Some houses are connected to uh, life two or phase three. Some life two or phase two, sorry. Some houses are connected to life three or phase three. So sometimes life one will be off. So those connected on life one, the electricity will be cut off whilst the life two and the life three or the phase two and phase three people will have their electricity working. And it goes on like that. Sometimes all the phases will be off and everyone will uh, have the electricity cut off and sometimes just uh, the live three or the phase three will have electricity and these two will be off so it's normal that sometimes your neighbor will have electricity and you will be 
cut off from electricity. So at that point, you have, you need to call the attention of in Ghana. You have to call the attention of uh, electricity company of Ghana, ECG, or that is when you are in the southern sector of Ghana. And when you are in the middle of or middle or northern sector, you have to call NETCO. They are in control of electricity distribution at that point at that part of the uh, country. So these are the two basic things that normally you need to check out before you call up an electrician. So uh, there's the question that was thrown at me and I guess I have answered this question by doing this video to address it that it's not every time that you have to call up in an electrician. First, you need to check this uh, distribution board or distribution board or consumer unit to know if uh, the circuit breakers are on or off. Yeah. Stay tuned for more on this channel. Thank you.